Do you miss the days of old where misconfigured X settings might fry your CRT? Well, luckily for you, a certain version of the Linux kernel wants to bring back this sort of energy. If you're using an Intel 12th gen CPU on a laptop, do not run 5.19.12. Roll back to an older version or update your system past that version if available. One of the earliest places this was being reported and discussed was over on the framework forums. PSA, don't upgrade to Linux kernel 5.19.12. It breaks the internal display somehow, had to downgrade to 5.19.11 to solve it. And this is what was happening, which I'm no engineer, but that's less than optimal behavior. And Arch Linux being Arch Linux was basically the first distro to release this kernel. And this is where people first started to notice the problem. But it didn't seem like it was an Arch issue because when distros like Fedora and Slackware started shipping it, they also had the exact same problem. And the only solution seemed to be downgrading to 5.19.11 or running a custom build of 6.0. The exact cause was completely unknown at this point, but it definitely didn't seem like a distro issue. So Jerry Ling went and reported this upstream to the Linux kernel. Hi, it has been reported by multiple users across a handful of distros. There seems to be a regression on framework laptop, which presumably is not that special in terms of motherboard and display. At this point, it could possibly have been some like weird hardware configuration on the framework side, but either way, it was some issue upstream in the kernel. And maintainers like Greg Crow Hartman did what they do for any sort of issue like this. Can anyone do a git bisect to find the offending commit? And while they were working on this, someone actually beat them to it. Over on the Arch Linux forums, they found exactly the commit that caused the issue. DRM slash i915 slash BIOS split VBT data into per panel versus global parts by this developer right here. And where could this developer possibly have come from? Well, it's not some random person who shouldn't be messing around with that system. It's one of the developers working on the kernel that works at Intel. And as more and more users updated this version, bug reports being made on basically every affected issue tracker. And it wasn't just with framework laptops, both of these were with Lenovo devices. But it turns out there is a pretty big problem. This commit shouldn't be an issue. Not that it shouldn't be buggy, that's obviously the intention of submitting it to the Linux kernel, but it shouldn't be in this version of Linux. I definitely had no plans to backport any of that stuff, referring to the commit that's an issue, but I guess the auto magics did it anyway. Looks like stable is at least missing this pile of stuff. So all of these commits are commits that are supposed to be surrounding this commit to make it actually work properly. And I've read the entire thread, but nobody has mentioned how this got merged by itself. But now that it has been merged, we have to work from here to get the kernel back to a functional state, but the problem is actually pretty serious. After looking at some logs, we do end up with potentially bogus panel power sequencing delays, which may harm the LCD panel. Greg, I recommend immediate reverse this stuff and new stable release as soon as possible. Plus a recommendation that no one using laptops with Intel GPUs run 5.19.12. If this issue wasn't as serious, it was still a regression, but it was a regression that users could continue working with. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. They could work through the commits, bring the feature in without also bringing in the regression. But considering that it may basically kill someone's laptop, they need to take action as quickly as possible. And the quickest thing is get rid of the broken feature and deal with it later. Because in case you didn't realize, this is not a regular white screen where like, you know, I could just show white pixels on the screen and then get rid of them and then bring them back. No, no, no. That is not what's happening. That's the backlight flashing. That is the backlight going from 0% to 100% over and over and over again. It's unclear whether this would actually damage your system, but it is not a risk that anybody wants to take. 
And in between this email being sent and Greg actually seeing it, some other solutions were being worked on, bringing all the commits in together and then properly testing it on one of the affected devices. And from some of the initial testing they were doing, they were getting good results. But Greg was in agreement and said, okay, will do. I'll go do that right now. Thanks and sorry for the problems. And then following this, Greg released the 5.19.13 kernel, which is basically the same kernel, but eight commits were averted for that driver. And hopefully that should solve the issue. And from what I've seen, it does. Everybody is reporting that the issue is completely gone and the hardware is just as stable as it was on the 5.19.11 release. And one of the fun things about a laptop is your built-in screen is basically directly wired into your on-chip GPU. So it didn't matter if you're using a discrete GPU, you had like a gaming laptop with a 12th gen Intel CPU, maybe you had a really thin notebook and using a, you know, external GPU enclosure, or you are just relying on those built-in graphics. If you're using a 12th gen Intel CPU on the 5.19.12 kernel, your screen was probably flashing. One of the only good things about the situation is most of the major distros are completely skipping by the issue. If you're someone like Ubuntu, for example, you are running a kernel that is absolutely ancient compared to 5.19.12. Now, with the next version of Ubuntu, 22.10, it isn't going to be on 6.0, it is going to be using the 5.19 series, but considering it's still a couple of weeks out, that gives it plenty of time to repair and make sure it does not ship this version. And then slower rolling releases like Manjaro skipped straight past this version and it was never an issue there. I should also mention some people have been saying they've experienced this on 11th and 10th gen, but that doesn't seem to be anywhere near as common. If you are using an Intel CPU though, just get off that version just to be extra safe. Now, all things considered, it's not really too surprising that Older Lake is where this issue has been seriously happening. Because from my understanding, this has been a kind of a nightmare to properly support on Linux. There have been many issues with the platform itself, along with specific notebook devices introducing various changes that don't make any sense compared to previous releases. But on the bright side, Intel is very cooperative with the Linux kernel, so pretty much all of these issues get addressed with time. So let me know, are you using a 12th gen Intel laptop, and did you know this issue was even happening? Or are you like me, and you have this laptop, and you feel like you should probably use it sometimes, but it lives in a drawer, and very rarely comes out? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robinson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out. <laughs>